right, in this video, this is Systems of Equations series video number six, the elimination method. And yes, if you watched video number five, we're going to do the exact same example, but we're going to do it differently. So check out video five if you have not already. But yes, we have the same example and I am doing this to show you that, yes, there's more than one way to solve these systems of equations. In video number five, we eliminated the Y's, but we can actually eliminate the X's. It does not matter. And one way that we can eliminate the X's here, in order to eliminate these, we have to have opposite coefficients. This is a two and this is a five. They do not get eliminated. So think of a number that two and five are both multiples of. First thing that comes to mind to me is 10. You could say 20 or 30. But, but 10 is the first thing that comes to mind. Two will go into 10 and five will go into 10. But now we have to bear in mind, one of these needs to be positive 10 and the other one needs to be negative 10. It does not matter, but they need to be opposite coefficients. I'm just gonna multiply everything in the first equation by five, remember both sides. Therefore, when we do this, five times two X, that's gonna be 10 X. 5 times 3y, that's positive 15y, and then the 11 times 5 is 55. So this is our new top equation. And now let's take the second equation, and let's multiply it by a negative 2. Now you may wonder, why are we doing a negative 2? Well, go ahead and check this out. Negative 2 times 5x is negative 10x. These are going to get eliminated right here in a moment. Negative 2 times 6y, that's negative 12y. Watch your signs there. And then we need to multiply this side by negative 2 as well. This is multiplication, by the way, not subtraction. And 17 times a negative 2 is negative 34. So now when we go to solve this equation, the x's get eliminated now. Whereas in video 5, we got rid of the y's first. Let's combine like terms. 15y minus 12y is 3y. This is equal to 55 minus 34 is 21. We can quickly get y by itself by dividing both sides by 3. Therefore, we have y equals 7. Check it out. Back in video 5, we got y equals 7. And now from here, we can plug 7 back into y in either equation to solve for x. I'm going to quickly do that here to show it to you, just to kind of recap again. It never hurts to do a little bit of repetition. And I'm just going to use the second equation because I think in video five, I use the first one. You have so much freedom here to take different approaches when you solve systems of equations. So look at what I'm writing down here. I'm taking the second equation and I'm substituting seven into that Y right there since Y equals seven. So we have five X plus 42 and this is equal to 17. Now we can solve for x. Subtracting 42 from both sides, that's going to help us get x by itself. Therefore, we have 5x is equal to a negative 25. And now to get x by itself, dividing both sides by 5, we get a value of x that is equal to negative 5. Therefore, our solution is going to be negative 5 comma 7. And if we go back to video five again, notice we have the exact same answer, but we did it differently. And there you have it. The same example as what we did in video number five, but a different approach. And again, I just want to reiterate the fact that there's more than one way to solve these problems. As a matter of fact, you could have even used substitution method, but elimination method is definitely the better candidate here because everything is lined up, the X's, the Y's and all that. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.